hi guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here today's video is a very exciting one i am completely changing up things in our house and as you can see clifford is still here in this video we did start filming all these changes before he passed and um so if you see him right there it's just kind of looking back into the past a little bit but i was showing you i moved our dining room into the kitchen area and this used to be our dining room and this is now going to be Weston's bedroom. So picture this completely changing. I repainted a ton already. I had started it. I just kind of wanted to get it started while I could. I was actually at home sick with you know what. And um, so I had a lot of time on my hands. So I spent that entire week painting. I wasn't super sick. I was very blessed. I didn't have it horrible but I did still have it. So anyway, I'm just showing you what the room looks like now. Kind of, um, I did, I was talking in the video, but I decided to do some parts as a voiceover because it's just a little easier. But that room right there is Paisley's room and that will be turning into Grant's room. So stay tuned to the end where I give you a little sneak peek of all the kids' bedrooms when we're finished. <sighs> So because I'm feeling a lot better, I figured I would get to work. Um, I have to go through and caulk all the holes. There's like holes from pictures and stuff being up and I want them covered. So I'm going to caulk them and then I'm gonna move all the furniture back to the center of the room again so I can do a second coat of gray. This green wall has three coats and it's still not even perfect, but I ran out of paint. So it's fine, his bed's going against it anyway. You're not even going to see it. I've got my cup of coffee. I'm going to go ahead and put a Christian podcast on. I've been loving listening to podcasts while I work instead of um, listening to like just music all the time. So I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Uh, I did not paint this wall behind me, this half wall, because he's going to be putting a door in. I will do that when it's all put in and finished. Um, I do want to get some wood closet doors. I'm going to paint this white and then wood closet doors, and then I will show you... This is the basement door, so we're going to get a door for here. That way it matches all the rest of the doors in the house. As for this door, honestly, I think we'll just keep it that way for now because it's kind of cute. The boys have like a peekaboo door with the glass, and then I could always, I gotta get new blinds. Those ones are kind of in rough shape, but I'll get some new ones so that way we can close it when Grant takes a nap. But yeah, that's what's going on. I have to get the whiteboard off. I tried yesterday, and I could not get it off. Gonna try again today. That way I can get that all figured out, and then go through and caulk, and then after we caulk, we will do the second coat of paint. And then this room will be pretty much done other than the door, like I said, we're doing that this weekend. All of the gray paint is up other than the two walls that I said I wasn't going to put paint on until the door is up. I did order new lights to put up here. Uh, we're gonna keep it the track lights just because this is such a weird shaped room. It's long and narrow. So we think the track lights will be best, but um, they're a lot more modern and kind of like, like a rustic look. They're really neat. I'm excited to get them in. They're supposed to be in tomorrow. Got the green wall all finished. I love the way it looks. His bed, I think, is gonna go against this wall right here, either outwards or the other way. I'm just gonna kinda move around and see what I like best. I did get the first coat around this trim here of white. I painted the door semi-gloss white. It looks so much better. Um, just fresh and clean looking and I'm gonna get a second coat around that trim but before I do that I'm gonna go through and repaint all of this trim because as you can see it's very dingy um, <laughs> and just I mean there's spots all over it and it would be just so much faster just to take the paintbrush and work my way around the room gonna also do a coat around these windows because as you can see they only have a very light coat so you can see the staining uh, the edges were never painted, so just it needs to be kind of touched up. I'm going to go around this door just to touch it up. I just want every single room to be done and done right. 
so that way we don't have to go through and do Got it again. A helper. Are you helping make this mess? We've almost got a door up. So now I'm removing all of the frame around this doorway. This used to be a door and we're turning this whole area into an actual hallway with a closed off uh, door for Weston's room. So the whole room was completely transformed and it's amazing how much this really did change the space. All right guys, so this is what we're working it with currently. I have to go ahead and prime this wall here. Ryan is making up some built-in shelves here. That was my idea. And then coming in, it's a mess right now. It's in construction. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and prime this right here. And then we're gonna get it all painted once the primer dries. All right, now I'm gonna go through and I'm just gonna paint like a crazy woman. I did spare you some of the painting, but I figured I'd share with you just a little bit. Here's Paisley's pretty lilac wall. She picked this color out all by herself and it's so cute. All right guys, up next I'm going to go ahead and stain these boards. These are for my built-in shelves that Ryan built me. So I'm going to stain with Provincial. I like the darkness. Um, this is definitely not dark enough for me. I like the way it looks on the red, I think this is red oak but I will just do a few coats of it on this and I think it will be a lot darker. So that is what we're gonna go with. Um, and then I will stain it with some polycrylic, which I don't remember where I put it. Oh, it's right here. I will uh, not stain it, sorry. I will finish it with a polycrylic that will help to protect it. It's a clear satin finish. So we're gonna go ahead, get these first coat stained and then we'll do another coat and maybe three if we need it. Just depends on how dark it gets. If you guys have any questions on paint colors or anything like that, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and I would love to share that with you. Um, one thing is I use the same color gray in all of the rooms and that's Agreeable Gray by Sherwin-Williams and then each kid got a different accent color wall. So that's just a quick little explanation for that. This is what everything looked like when we were all finished. I hope you guys love this video and I will be doing an in-depth Tour. I think I might do a brand new updated house tour pretty soon here and you will see the rooms fully completed but this is just what they look like at this moment and we are so happy with the outcome. It has totally changed our whole entire house flow. Everything just seems to work so much better. If you guys like these sorts of videos please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear from you. I would love to chat. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one.